Hey there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me today for another art video. So lately I've had quite a few people reaching out directly or leaving comments or questions here at my YouTube channel or over at my different social media channels, just asking me for advice, for suggestions on how to overcome intense feelings of anxiety, of self-doubt, of lack of clarity when it comes to their artistic journeys. Some of these artists are finding it difficult to start on a brand new piece, whether it's a drawing, a painting, or any other kind of artwork that they work on. They find themselves frozen with fear in front of their blank canvases or watercolor paper or whatever it is. Others are scared to take that next step when it comes to doing this professionally. And others that are just getting started are really overwhelmed with this vast array of different topics and things that they could be learning about and developing their skills in. And there are many different ways in which these kinds of thoughts could keep popping up for us throughout our artistic journeys and they keep us stuck. And because of all these things, I thought that I'd share a mini podcast episode that I just published over on IGTV today. Um, if you enjoy it, if you find it helpful, make sure to join me over on Instagram and check out the other mini podcast episodes because this is episode number 10 already. And this is a series that I initially created only to be shared over on Instagram. So you're going to be able to find a link to my Instagram account down below in the description box in case you'd like to join me over there for the extra inspiration. Okay, so without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this episode. Clarity comes through action, not thought. Mary Forleo. Have you ever allowed anxiety, self-doubt, and overwhelm to keep you from taking those steps forward in your art journey? I know I certainly have. Whether it's getting started on a new drawing or painting, sharing my work on social media, trying to explain my thoughts or creative process to others, or simply deciding whether or not to invest in a new workshop or course, I oftentimes freeze. I procrastinate on things I know are important in order to keep moving the needle forward. I try to minimize the importance of taking action on scary tasks by filling up my time with non-scary to-dos that aren't out of my comfort zone, and I overthink things until I'm blue in the face. If you can relate to any of this, please know that there's nothing to be ashamed of. You're human, I'm human, we're all incredibly complex, beautifully flawed, and our brains tend to fire up with ultimately unhelpful thoughts when we need to do anything challenging or new. It's well known that our brains react very similarly when we face a real, actual threat or danger and things that can't actually harm us, which is often the case when it comes to the tasks that come along with pursuing our passions. Our brains do what they can to keep us quote unquote safe by shouting out things to us that aren't even true, very loudly at times, I might add. And though these tasks may seem uncomfortable, we know that they can't actually harm us 99.9% .9 of the time. And we also know that we have a ton to gain from actually doing them. Deep inside, we know this. We know that pushing through will eventually lead us to major happiness and fulfillment, but we keep ourselves stuck because we're often taken aback by that instinctive response to new challenges and we end up giving way too much importance to the untrue thoughts and limiting beliefs that we on our own come up with because of this. And then we come up with excuses as to why we shouldn't do this or the other because of things that have happened in the past or things that could happen in the future. And we end up doing absolutely nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. It's important to recognize that ultimately, when we do this, we're turning our back on our goals, our deep interests, and our happiness. We turn our back on ourselves. And all because of this instinctive, primitive thing that our brain does, more specifically our amygdala, which helped keep us safe thousands of years ago when we had wild animals to run away from. 
This fight, flight, freeze response is a primitive action that happens immediately and it keeps us overprotected even today, when there are no more lions to run away from, at least not in most of our cases or day-to-day lives. But what's important to know is that even with this instinctive brain response that most of us have, we also have power of thought. With enough practice, we can get better at controlling our thoughts and aiming them in a more productive direction, in a way that will actually help us and assist us in reaching our goals. We can even start developing our own little cheerleader that'll help combat that negative little troll, which I highly recommend, by the way, because as artists, we um, often work in isolation and have to do most of the work on our own. And it's just very important to uh, be our own cheerleaders. It's, It's important to believe in what we're doing and know that we have it in us to do great things. Sitting down in front of a new sketchbook spread, canvas or sheet of watercolor paper isn't actual danger. Sharing your work with others isn't actual danger, as scary as it may be to put yourself out there for others to see and critique. Starting up your online shop may indeed require a ton of learning and a huge array of things to do, but you will get those things done if you keep chipping away at it. So it's important to know why this response and why these thoughts are happening and say, I see what you're doing there, brain. Thanks for trying to keep me safe. This is important to me and I'm the one in the driver's seat here. And keep on keeping on, even through the fear. Because here's the thing, friend. Even though at times our brains might seem like our worst enemy, as human beings, we're designed to learn and grow and do. Not only this, but as artists, we're made to create. We're here to experiment, to make new things, to share, to bring inspiration to others. And yes, it takes an insane amount of courage and persistence to be an artist, but you have it in you to pursue the path your heart is calling you towards, whether this is as a hobby or at a professional level. So don't let those negative voices stop you from doing what you have it in you to do. Especially because, shocker, those voices will always be there, popping up in the background now and then. Doesn't matter how skilled you become or how successful you become as an artist. And they will keep you stuck forever, frozen with fear, if you let them. And I don't know about you, but my worst fear in the entire world is being in my deathbed, reaching those final moments in my life and just being full of regret with knowing that I could have done more to be happier, to be more fulfilled, to reach my goals. That is way scarier for me than taking action and messing up. And you know what will make those voices less loud? taking action, doing the thing. Because when you move forward, despite the fear and the discomfort, you'll grow. You'll grow both as an artist and a human. You'll see that you didn't actually die by doing the thing. And if you're honest with yourself, you'll acknowledge the fact that you always learn something new, even when the outcome isn't what you initially expected it to be. Because with every step forward you take, it doesn't matter how small it is, your knowledge, your experience, and your courage will grow. And you start proving to yourself that you can do bigger, better things. And that you have it in you to do things even when they're scary. But for all of this to happen, you have to be willing to take that messy, imperfect action. You have to be willing to embrace the point you're at and get excited for what's to come. You cannot wait for the path to be laid out perfectly for you or for you to feel strong enough to do what you have to do because that inner confidence and strength only comes from experience and putting in the work and that clarity that most of us are lacking in the beginning only comes as we keep taking those forward steps. So if you feel lost, overwhelmed, or full of self-doubt, firstly know that you're not alone and that this is completely normal. 
We're all going through this, especially when it comes to pursuing something new, something unknown. As artists, this can take the form of starting with a new drawing or painting, starting a new Instagram account that is gonna be solely for your art that you can share your art in, starting to sell your work, or anything in between. Secondly, take it a step back and create small, tangible, and meaningful goals for yourself that you can start working towards. And thirdly, just keep putting one foot in front of the other and trust that no matter how small the steps that you're taking may seem, you are making forwards progress and you'll eventually get there. Always remember that confidence and clarity come as a result of taking action. And the path that we're so desperately striving to see will only illuminate for us and will only become clear as we continue moving forward. And as you continue taking those forward steps, you're gonna eventually look back and be amazed by how easy things are for you now that you once thought were super huge and scary. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something new or that you found it inspiring. If you did like it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps support the work that I am doing here on YouTube and allows more artists to get to know about my channel. Thank you so very much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments for me, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys and read every single one of your comments. Don't forget to subscribe so that I can see you next week for another video and stay inspired. Bye guys.